Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to see you all here once again. This week I've put together some sustainable dresses for the festive period. I know there is a lot of uncertainty right now with what's going on in the world, but I planned this weeks ago and have been looking forward to it. And I've also been looking forward to just getting dressed up this year and feeling amazing after the rubbish few Christmases we've had. So I'm gonna enjoy this video and I hope you guys do too. I have to say I am so impressed with the sustainable ethical and vegan brands. They are really bringing it with their styles, quality, like I'm so impressed and I'm gonna get straight in to this week's video. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and obviously like, comment, share and all that good stuff to help support me and my channel. And once you've done all of that, we can get on with this week's video. I'm going to start off strong with one of my favorite dresses of the lot and it's in the typical festive color in this beautiful red. So I'm gonna say before, this isn't the actual fabric of the original dress. This dress comes in so many different styles. The original one that I wanted was in a red sort of velvet. It was absolutely beautiful, but it sold out when I was buying it. I will link it below in case it has come back in stock and I will link this one. But this one is more of sort of a ribbed fabric. So it's, I don't wanna say it's a bit more casual, but the velvet one just, it gives it that extra oomph, if you know what I mean. But the dress, other than the fabric, is exactly the same. So this is a strappy bodycon dress. So you can see it's fitted all the way down. It's a midi, but this isn't any old bodycon dress. The back is just beautiful. It's completely open back and the straps just go round the shoulder. I've obviously popped it on for you guys so you can see. So this is from Reformation, of course, one of my favorite stores. This dress is called the Kelsey dress and I got it in the color cherry. Like I said, it comes in several colors, in the ribbed, in the velvet, and I think there's also um, a sort of glitter, shimmery fabric. I'll link them all below. I'll find them all and link them all below for you. But I got this in an extra small, uh, which I would say is kind of true to size for body cons. I would either do small or extra small. And um, I've mentioned in the past, I'm quite busty and quite have a bit of junk in the trunk. And this is all fitting fine in this dress. So um, it depends how snug you want it. I like my body cons quite snug. This is just such a lovely Christmas party dress. I wouldn't wear this at home having Christmas dinner with the family, but definitely if I have an event or I'm gonna to go to a Christmas party, then I would definitely rock this one. I just really wanted it in the velour. That's the ideal one. I'm actually gonna look and see if they've got it in stock. And if I'm not wrong, Reformation are in sale at the moment, if I'm not wrong. So you might be able to grab yourself a bargain. What do you guys think of this dress? Let me know in the comments below. I wanted to make sure in this try-on that I picked up a variety of dresses. Some are a little bit more pricier, but then I wanted to get some that are more affordable. And I was gonna place an order with Nact as they are the more affordable brand, but they just kept selling out. It does take a while for their deliveries to come. So I came across a brand called Lux to Kill. I'm not sure if any of you have heard about it. I didn't actually realize, but they're a sustainable brand, which I was very happy to see. So I picked up this dress and I wanted something a bit more cozy but also like I'm ready for a party so I picked up this again a bodycon and it's it's a thicker material I'm not going to say it's knitted it's it's ribbed but it is thick and warm and inside it has got this lining so it does keep you warm what caught my attention of this dress was this beautiful deep v neckline in the front and in the back. It's literally exact, you can see. It's long sleeved, because obviously it's a bit colder this time of year. And then it's midi dress and bodycon the whole way down. I've popped it on for you, but as I've never ordered from this brand before, I wasn't sure on sizing. And to be honest, a lot of their small sizing were out of stock. So I picked this up in a medium, and normally I could get away with it, but I'm not getting away with it. It's obvious that this dress is too big for me. So, I would suggest a size down in this, but I love everything about it. And if it wasn't a small, I think it would just be perfect. Depending on where you're going, you could dress this up with heels, you could rock some trainers with it, you could pop some boots on, but I just feel it's quite a versatile piece that you would look just lovely in. And it's in a lovely 
snowy white color. It's literally pure white. It's looking a little bit blue on the screen, but it's white. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait around until the small comes in stock. Cause again, this is a dress that I would get use out of throughout the whole year, which is what we want when we're shopping really. I will link it below for you guys. What do you think? Do you like it on me? Do you think I should look out for the small or do you think I should just forget about it and move on to the next one? <laughs> the next dress I picked up is just stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you watched my last week's video, it was a come shopping with me vlog. You would have seen that I had tried it on, but I did get it. And unfortunately, this is something Reformation have done to me quite often. I don't know if any of you have had the same problem, but I'll order a size and then they'll send me a different size. I don't know if it's because of the confusion with the US and the UK sizing, but they sent me one that was a little bit too small. It's a size down from my size, so I can't keep it. And I'm so gutted. I'll have to wait to see if it comes back in stock in my size, but oh, I just love this dress. The shape of this dress, the tailoring is just stunning. It has this mock neck with to button up at the back with the sort of elastic cord. I've popped it on, obviously I haven't zipped it up completely the back, it's not open back, it looks open back on me, but it does have a zip that runs the whole way up the back. There is a tiny, tiny gap at the top, but my gap's looking a bit bigger. And it's in this beautiful rose, is it a rose flower or floral print? It's a satin dress and the main color is black and then you've got the floral green and red and I just, thought this was the most beautiful dress for this time of year and of course you could get use out of it more into the year like on holidays like in the evening it's incredibly lightweight it feels like you're not wearing anything it's so comfortable and I just think it's absolutely flattering I think this dress comes in a few other colors I think it comes in like a teal green and something else I can't remember but this one just grabs my attention it has a sort of puff shoulder as well and then the sleeves, you have like a little button with a little gap. And you have a tie up as well to cinch you in, although the tailoring is fantastic. For me, the belt is just an accessory really, but if you need cinching in, you've got it. And then you have a beautiful, beautiful slit. It's the perfect height. And I just love it. I'm so glad this doesn't fit me. This one's from Reformation and it's called the Julius Dress and it's in color Cottage Garden. So I originally got this in a UK six and what they've done is sent me out a US two. So I think I'm supposed to have a US four. So it's one size down. Other than that, I would say it's probably true to size. There is absolutely no stretch in this. In the UK six, my boobs are quite pressed in because it fits my waist perfectly. In the UK six, so if I was to size up, it would start to loosen up everywhere, but I'm comfortable. It's just because of the, the no elastane. So just bear that in mind if you're purchasing it. I feel like this dress is like Marmite. Some people absolutely love it. And then some people hate it. Like my mum, my mum hates it. But you guys over on Instagram, I nearly got 100% on this dress when I asked you. But let me know YouTube family, what do you think? Do you like this one? Let me know. So of course I had to find a sustainable LBD little black dress for the season. So this one was from Lux to Kill as well. And those of you that follow me and are subscribed already will know my current obsession with these sort of necklines, literally. I went crazy for a sweater from Reformation and I found it, I've got it in my size, I've bagged it, but I just love this neckline. So I saw this and just thought, this is perfect. So as I said, it's from Lux to Kill and it's kind of knitwear. It is a knitted dress. It's thick, it's ribbed, it's long sleeved and it is very mini. It's fitted and it's bodycon, um, but I just thought it was perfect for this season. The only thing I would say, I'll pop it on so you guys can see. I just feel for me, this is way too short. And as well as it being too short, you have these two slits on the side of the dress on your thighs so and I'm not the tallest of girls I'm not the tallest of girls so this is really short for me if you were any taller then you'd see a lot but I love everything else about the dress it's so frustrating but if this is your vibe then go for it again this is a more party look but it's nice and cozy and you've got the uh the long sleeves and the and the knit and the heavy knit so 
I just thought it was perfect. I popped it on. I got this in a size medium. Again, it's funny, isn't it? Because the other dress I got was a medium and you saw how baggy that was. This fits me, which is really odd. And if I did get any smaller, then it would look like a long top over a dress on me, I think. I would probably size up in this one, to be honest. It's very, very, very comfortable. I just wish it was a tiny bit longer and I would probably sew up the size, if not all of it, maybe just a, a tiny bit. I just feel like it's a little bit too much, but maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? It's a little bit too short, isn't it? But it's a lovely dress. It's a lovely, lovely dress. I'm really impressed with this brand so far, I have to say. So the next dress and the last dress that I purchased, the last thing I'm going to show you is actually a skirt, but I thought I'd fit it in because it's just so beautiful. But the last dress that I've got, I've actually got on at the moment and it is this beautiful fuchsia satin dress. The camera is really not giving this dress justice because it is this beautiful, deep fuchsia, fuchsia pink. I will say that I need a tan. <laughs> I'm going to say it. You know, I know it's all on your minds, but I definitely need a tan, but I haven't had time to get one. So we're just going to go with Au Natural at the moment. But I think if you had a lovely tan with this, it would just look beautiful. I popped it on. This one is from Reformation again, and it is called the, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this, the Mar Mar Marguerite. It's a bit like my mum's name, Margarita. Marguerite dress, and it's in colour Flambe and I got it in a UK six. I've got a feeling that they've sent the wrong size in this one as well. I think that I've got the two again because it just feels very tight around here, even though the back of it has, let me show you, it has this um, elastane. This is what I love about all their dresses. It just gives you breathing space and it's great if you're big busted because Sometimes it feels very, very restrictive around there. So that's the only reason I think I've got it on, but I think they've sent me the wrong size in this one as well, which is extremely annoying. But I've managed to zip it up and show you guys. Again, this is in that lovely satin material. The rest of the dress isn't stretchy, but that back panel is. So you've got that. And then you've got these lovely spaghetti straps, which you can adjust yourself. Um, I've done a really bad job because there's no one here to help me. <laughs> they need to be lower back and probably a little bit more higher. But they're very delicate, which is lovely and very, very feminine. And then you've got this lovely cut here on the neckline. And then it's fitted in here. And then this is where you have this like wrap detail. So the dress wraps and then you've got the sort of open opening when you walk, which is just so beautiful. And once again, this is a beautiful party dress. If you've got any events to go to, it does come in other colours. Think, does it come in a red? I think it might come in a red, but I just love this color. I just thought it was beautiful. And I just thought I wanted to have a few colors, not just stick to the traditional Christmas colors. I absolutely love this. This is one that I will wear in the summer as well. So I'm going to get so much use out of it, but I've just got to pray that they have my size. It's so frustrating. I've fed this all back to the Reformation customer love team. And I've also fed it back to the store because it's probably happened to me in every single order and a few things I've just missed out on because they just never got the sizes back in stock, which is really frustrating. I mean, I could hold on to this, but I want things to fit me properly. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and we're going to move on to the last piece. The last piece I want to show you is a skirt, like I mentioned, and when I saw it, I just had to add it to this week's video. I know it's not a dress, but it still falls into sort of the same category. It's this gorgeous sequin bodycon skirt. It comes with a little slit and they've been very clever in the design because they've made it into a sort of skirt to cover your modesty. You know how some splits just go all the way up to the top and when you walk, you can see anything. So it's cleverly designed. It's in this beautiful, beautiful stretchy fabric. It's very comfortable. It's a tiny bit heavy, but with what you would expect with this sort of uh, material on it. So the sequins, I'm not a huge fan of sequins usually, but I just feel they are so subtle and classy. I'm not sure if subtle is the word for this because it's obviously sequins and it's not subtle, but you know how some sequins can just be in your face. I just feel like these are just very gentle. The fabric behind is in this nude and this, the sequins are in this silver. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a champagne sort of 
color. It's from Lovers and Friends and I got this in a size small and I would say it's a little bit too big for me around my waist. So I'm going to size down. So I would probably tell you to size down if you buy this because small is my usual size. I've popped it on. I put it on with a turtleneck just to cozy it up if you want sort of more of a dress down but put together look. I think this is a really lovely look if you're going for a dinner or if you're having people around or even to an event because like me, I'm always cold. So I'm always happy in a, in a turtleneck. I also popped it on with a sort of champagne color cow neck strap top that I tucked in and it looked really nice. I should have really popped it on for you guys so you could see. But what I love about this piece is it is timeless. And because it's a skirt, you can dress it up in so many different ways. So you'll always get so much use out of it and it won't feel like you're wearing the same thing over and over again. But I absolutely love it. This is literally my kind of look for this time of year. Um, but yeah, I just need to order it in an extra small. I'm probably not going to have it in time for Christmas, but maybe New Year's. Maybe this is going to be my New Year's look. We've come to the end of this video. I'm really sad. I was really enjoying myself and I just love this time of year. Obviously, there's not a ton of sustainable dresses out there for me just to go on and on and on. And also, I don't like my videos dragging. So I just wanted to pick my favourites. There were a few that I just get, couldn't get ordered on time. So maybe I'll save them for Valentine's Day or something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you had any favourites or any that you think that I made a mistake on and I just need to send straight back. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and of course like and everything else to help support my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video this week and I will see you in next week's video. Bye everyone.